Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the grand opening of Green Fair. My name is Lisa Merkel. I'm the mayor here in the town of Herndon, and I am honored to be here to welcome you to such a wonderful, health-minded, forward-thinking, environmentally sound businesses. Exactly the sorts of things that we're hoping to attract more and more of to the town of Herndon. So um, I really appreciate you being here tonight. Um, it's going to be a great meal. Um, I would also like to introduce our vice mayor, Jennifer Baker, who's here this evening. Sorry I have my back to you guys. Welcome. <laughs> um, so anyway, like I said, um, I first um, met we first met a, a couple months ago. We came over for a visit. I had a wonderful lunch. I've been back several times, and we're just so thrilled to have to have Green Fair right here in the town of Herndon. So thanks for choosing us. <laughs> um, and it's my honor to introduce uh, the chairman of the Board of Supervisors for the Fairfax County, Ms. Sharon Bulliba. Thank you, Lisa. And it is uh, wonderful to be able to join you here for people who are not quite sure how the towns and the county <laughs> all shake out. But uh, folks who live in the town of Herndon also are residents of Fairfax County. And, uh, and so we value our towns, and I'm really glad to be here in the town of Herndon uh, to celebrate this wonderful new restaurant. Uh, Gwen and I had met over a different issue and had a chance to get to know each other and she was telling me about the opening of Green Fair and I was very, very excited to have the opportunity to come and to help celebrate. So uh, the, the idea of Green Fair, healthy living, green living uh, is, uh, and eating is really the state of the art. And I'm really, really pleased, you know, that, uh, that this has opened and that folks have the opportunity to come and learn more about healthy eating and about plant food, plant fare, and, uh, and that's really important and I think really exciting and really on the cutting edge. So thank you. Congratulations. It's wonderful to be here to help cut the ribbon. express my appreciation to Lisa and Sharon for coming out tonight. That means a lot to have the local community support. When I started this place, it was designed to be a community restaurant where people can not only come and have uh, fantastic food, but also uh, learn and talk about the food choices and the impact of our diet on not only ourselves, but the environment and the cruelty-free aspect of uh, all of the choices that we make every day with every bite. Um, I wanted to thank my parents for coming up tonight. My dad inspired my, uh, uh, my science background and my mother inspired my entrepreneurial uh, uh, background. Uh, and this, this whole restaurant has, is really uh, due to inspiration. Um, Colin Campbell is hiding over in the tent there, uh, but he, he uh, graciously gave up his time uh, a year ago when I did a 45-person uh, experiment uh, with his son Nelson called a kickstart and we uh, gave people 10 days worth of food where they, we did blood testing before and after and in 10 days uh, people's cholesterol dropped by an average of 20 percent they weren't were able to go off medication and it started to, to change their life if you go to a regular medical doctor these days nobody talks about how to go off medication it's always about treating the side effects of the medication that you are taking and as Albert Einstein said, we're digging our graves with our teeth. And what we're trying to do is to change that uh, perspective on how we uh, make conscious decisions. Um, also, I wanted to thank uh, Jean, Jean Bauer for coming over today. Uh, Jean, Jean from uh, You and Raise Your Hand. Uh, he's also got book sign, signing over here. Um, uh, Jean was called the, uh, uh, the conscious, uh, uh, the, the consciousness of food by uh, Time Magazine. Uh, he's working with John Stewart and his wife Tracy on a farm sanctuary up in uh, in New Jersey. So thank you for coming out. So, and, and then finally, uh, Jim Jim Loomis, Dr. Loomis is over with his array of books. Uh, Jim is a uh, medical doctor from St. Louis uh, who told me that he over years of practice became. Uh, a patient in his own practice uh, as he started to experience cholesterol and 
uh, high blood pressure and went on a plant-based diet himself and discovered the benefits. And so he recently uh, moved to lead the Bernard Medical Center in Bethesda, which is fantastic. And for, for you, uh, for those of you who don't know Bernard Medical Center, it's actually a, a medical practice that starts talking about lifestyle and uh, health before they prescribe medication. So nutrition first and medication uh, is, is a backup to that. So I, I'm thrilled that everybody's uh, come out tonight. It's, uh, it's fantastic to have community support. Um, we're, we're doing uh, uh, many things differently than any other restaurant these days. We're actually going through an organic certification. We'll have that in two weeks. It's a three month process. Uh, so it, it, it starts to go away from monocrop and working more toward uh, local sustainable farmers that where you're actually connected to your food and uh, the food is rotated seasonally. So if you get really attached to one of our dishes, you'll discover different vegetables over, over time in the, uh, the food. Uh, and I wanted to mention when I first met uh, Colin, uh, I told him that I had been vegan for two years. And he said, well, we really use the term whole plant food now instead of whole food plant-based instead of vegan. And so I became uh, whole food plant-based uh, uh, after, after that, that discussion and recognized that it's about recognizing the food that you eat. It's eating things that are identifiable, uh, that don't have ingredients lists that go on around, wrapped around the package and uh, that weren't produced in factories, that were produced in farms. And so it's all about reconnecting with the food and, and where the food comes from. Uh, we're cooking without oil and salt and added sugar. Uh, some people, um, that's, a, that's actually a novelty to people, but it's to the convenience of most restaurants. When you uh, learn uh, the practice, uh, then you start to recognize that it costs more to do that, but it actually is, uh, it prevents high blood pressure and all of the complications that come from putting these added additives in your food. Um, while I'm expressing appreciation, I wanted to um, do a, a call out to Pericles Silva. Uh, do you raise your hand? <laughs> Pericles was the local um, uh, health starts here at uh, Whole Foods in Reston for five years. He's a Food for Life instructor. When we do our 21-day uh, kickstart programs here, which we've had 50 people uh, complete already, and I think there are a number of the kickstarters here. Uh, Pericles is uh, one that leads the leads the program and oversees the production of the food. And I also wanted to do a call out to our, our new executive chef, uh, Justin. I think those. <laughs> I'm at Justin's mother at uh, Election Day Precinct. I was running the, the polls and his mother was telling me about type 2 diabetes and I said, you should come to the restaurant and this is what we're doing. And she said, you should you should meet my son. He was at Le Beurre Chez Francois. Uh, he was at, uh, worked for Donald Trump, uh, I think directly too. So he's probably got some stories there you can ask about later. Uh, and he laughed on his own uh, volition. He's a Marine by trade, and uh, coming from my defense background, I always love working with the Marines because they're get a job done uh, kind of people. Uh, so Justin came here, we fell in love, and I have a fantastic uh, team of people. Um, it's not a restaurant, it's a mission that we're on. And so, uh, you know, people like uh, Gracia, uh, my, my next door neighbor, uh, Denise, uh, people that come and experience the, the fantastic benefits of this um, this lifestyle are uh, coming and um, engaging in the restaurant. So um, I just I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. We're, I think we need to get a ribbon over here. If, if we can do that instead of going over to the door, can we bring that over here? I wrote I wrote this long um, speech last night and. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting that um, Albert Einstein is one of my favorite uh, uh, sources for fantastic quotes. He was a man really ahead of his time. He, he in ad addition to the digging our graves with our teeth, he said, the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will interest patients in the care of the human frame, in diet, and in the cause and prevention of disease. And it's like how prescient that was. And, you know, hopefully what we're doing here will 
actually make that uh, come to come to bear. So with that, that's um, that's the end of my uh, prepared marks. And uh, <laughs> yeah. all right, we got the best <laughs> continue for another 10 minutes out here and if you have tickets for the dinner inside we have um, Colin Campbell's going to give a lecture so we're going to start allowing people to go in um, that are planning to have dinner here tonight and I hope everybody else here has had an uh, enjoyable time with the, the food and the music and um, uh, meeting some of the um, uh, folks that we've, we've, uh, we've brought in tonight so thank you again.